What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to go over one of my favorite tools. Uh, I already spoiled it, uh, but these Milwaukee 6-in-1 uh, wire strippers, I'm a big fan of. If you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right, guys, so uh, as we just got done with the Christmas holiday, I received a Home Depot gift card, and guess what? I picked up another set of these bad boys. So I use a pair of these at work. I switch in between uh, these and the Klein. Uh, I think they're the Klein Curve. I think that part number is like 1020, or no, 12055, I think, is the, is the Klein set that I use. Um, this is a Milwaukee set 48-22-3079. Uh, these I'm a big fan of. I've already worn out one of these pair. Uh, they're, they're really a good all-in-one tool. Um, I love a wire stripper for uh, stranded wire and uh, solid wire. Uh, these things, I love that they have a scale on both sides. Uh, you have a scale for stranded. You have a scale for solid. Really, really slick, um, no guesswork, no having to know it right off the top of your head. Um, maybe it makes you lazy and complacent, but it's very easy to use. So these things cut through Romex and, uh, and any of your stranded wire with ease. I mean, they're, they're, they basically take the place of diagonal cutters, uh, lineman's pliers, uh, and a stripper all in one. So I use the jaws at the end to tighten wire nuts sometimes if I need something really tight. Um, the reamers on them are awesome. I've worn down, I wish I had a picture of the ones I have at work. Uh, they're, they're worn around the sides pretty bad from doing conduit uh, and, and EMT stuff like that. So, you know, uh, they they do wear a little bit on the sides, but you know, that's what the reamers are for. They're really slick So it, it, it'll do everything up to three-quarter uh, You can kind of tip the plier in there at a different angle if you want to do bigger than that But I'm usually not into anything bigger than three-quarter. So, um, you know, there's rare instances where I'm doing one inch uh, rigid or something like that you know, you you have your own reamer for that. So the bolt cutters, I never use the bolt cutters. I use the bolt cutters at home because usually most of the time I'm coming up with, you know, little screws that need cut uh, that are, you know, a little too long for the project that I'm doing. So I, I see that these are going to come in handy when I use them at home. But as far as at work in a facilities maintenance type of setting, I don't use these bolt cutters at all. Uh, usually have have this stuff readily available. Um, we have a lot of stuff on a shelf for that kind of thing. Um, I highly recommend these pliers. Now I do recommend the Kleins as well. I go back and forth with the Kleins. The Kleins are the exact same plier. Um, they just have a wider duck bill type uh, head on them. It's not really a duck bill. It's a, um, a square head up here on the top. So, you know, it, Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. I find that sometimes it's a pain in the butt. Some people use that wide duck bill for twisting wires together. Uh, I'm not a fan of twisting wires together. Sometimes I'll twist my grounds, um, but otherwise I just put them in a, a wire nut and I use uh, pliers to tighten my wire nut down to get my uh, twist going. So that's just the way I do it. I'm not a certified electrician by any means. I'm not an absolute uh, expert in every field, uh, but these work good for me all around. So if you're a guy that's a jack of all trades, needs to be able to do just about anything and everything, this is a good plier for you. I would also say that this is an awesome electrician's tool. Uh, this is a great electrician's tool under 30 bucks. These come in at $25. Uh, if you need a stripper, you're looking for a wire stripper, uh, a wire stripper, not a stripper. Uh, these are, are awesome. These have held up. They withstand the test of time. I think the other set I have is probably four or five years old, and they've held up quite well. I don't need to replace the ones at work, but I'm getting a set for home. So at 25 bucks, they're under that $30 mark to make it an awesome tool under 30 bucks. 
And heck, I had a gift card, so why not? These are sweet. So these will be going in my toolbox. Um, they'll stay probably shiny like this because um, electri electrical work around the compound is few and far between, but when I need it, I need it, and I want to have nice tools there in the toolbox. If you work um, with electricity as your daily, um, these are a good tool. I mean, I, I see electricians bounce around between uh, all the different brands. Uh, everybody has their own uh, opinion on what is good, what's bad, and different. But nonetheless, I highly recommend these. 25 bucks, a win in my book, always a thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was going to make it short and sweet. It's a nasty, rainy day here in Ohio. Um, it's kind of sleet and icing and just all around nasty. So spend the time in the garage, make a little video for you. I hope you like this down and dirty review. As always, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.